So welcome back to uh, the second part of the first edition of the Community Kitchen, where the idea is for us all to get together, learn about some delicious food from another part of the world, and sort of expand our, uh, our sense of community and empathy together. And uh, this week we're making bel puri, which, uh, as we all remember from last week, is an Indian street snack, really common in Mumbai, but also you know, eaten throughout India. Um, and uh, your assignment this week, of course, was to go to an Indian grocery store and ask a shopkeeper how to make it and see what happens. So before we get into actually making the bail puri, I wanted to, um, to take a moment and, uh, and hear people's sort of experiences. Um, what, you know, where did you end up going? Had you been there before? Did you talk with a shopkeeper? Did you notice anything new? Like what came up for you? And um, maybe if you wanna like raise your hand, I'll, I'll call on folks. Um, and you could also feel free to, uh, to drop it in the chat. I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the zoom functionality where you can like do raise hand or you can just, uh, yeah. Anyone want to share? I can't really see anyone. So I might just have to call somebody. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to, um, yeah, Milo and Anna, will you, will you share? Yeah. Can you guys hear us? Yes. Cool. So we just went today and it was awesome. We discovered this Indian grocery store that was like two blocks, three blocks away from us. Yeah, yeah, very close. That we'd never been to. And so we like did our best and poked around the shelves and found some stuff that looked right. Um, and then we asked the shopkeepers what they would recommend and they were like, huh, we've actually never made bell for so, ourselves. Well, the, the shopkeepers <laughs> were three people who were like a, a parent and it seemed like a daughter. And it seemed like the daughter was the most like conversant one. And so then when the time to give advice, she was like, I've never made it. I don't know. And so we kind of just had to kind of make our own way. But that was still informative. It was like, okay, yeah. even people from India have not, you know, always made bell parade. It was a cool, was, like they were very nice and it was a nice. Trip. Yeah, we think that they offered us a samosa on the way out, but it was like at the point of where we were exchanging money, where it was like, well, we're already paying, so we don't want to buy something else. And then we're like, oh, it was probably for free. <laughs> But Did we, we insult were, them by we not accepting right it? Here. I don't know. No, it, was, it was really nice. It seems like uh, they, they would, uh, their <laughs> eyes might light up if we go back in again. And ours too. Yeah, definitely go back. You're going to get a free samosa every time you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. Um, cool. Sam, will you share your, your experience? Yeah. So uh, I went to an Indian grocery. I'd never been to one before. Um, it was about a mile and a half from my apartment. It was a great walk today. Um, and I walked in and I asked the, the owner, you know, I, I, I'm looking to make bel puri. What ingredients can you recommend? And I had like my phone open with Zach's list of ingredients and literally like she named every single, like everything that was on there. It was like the order in which she said that I should do it. Um, so I knew that I was in good hands. And she was like my best friend. She like accompanied me through the store. She picked out everything for me. She put it in my bag. And then I, I ended up getting a couple of other kinds of snacks just because I really loved the experience. Kerala mixture and tandoori makana. Um, she said that they were like the best snacks. I don't know, but it was great. It was a really lovely experience. That's awesome. Um, that's, that's great that you, uh, you got some new stuff out of it. Um, Perlman and Adam's family, will you, uh, will you share your experience with us? Okay. Uh, because we were kind of on vacation this week, we went today mm -hmm. after uh, we went to the Botanic Gardens. We immediately drove there and there was some, uh, well, uh, dirt directions confusion on the phone when we left. <laughs> I just want to alert you that. <laughs> but uh, it was, I, I kind of liked it there. <laughs> um, but it was a bit weird. Yeah, well, was, it, uh, was, it, was it fun going to a new grocery store, Leo? Yes, I tried, uh, I, I kept trying to ask Mama and Dada to ask, because we couldn't find tamarind. Uh, we, I kept, well, we couldn't find tamarind paste. I kept trying to get you to, to ask the, ask one of the people who worked in the shop for the tamarind. 
and I found it. Yeah. yeah. But we did ask the shopkeeper. Um, it was a Bangladeshi grocery, and um, he we said, "Oh, we're making bel pori," and he said, "Ah." So we didn't really have much of an engagement with him, but the store was cool, and there was a kulfi. Um, like, you know how there's a frozen cooler of, mm. of you know, ice cream, like Klondike bars and stuff in every bodega? Well, there was a coffee cooler, and it was, that was cool. And it, there was a cool cat in the deli. Yes, even in the Bangladeshi bodegas, there's a bodega cat, so yeah. it was awesome. Awesome. Cool. Well, I'm glad you guys had a good experience. Um, I guess one last question I'll ask, and then we're going to get to the... Um, to the making of the Bell Puri, the main event. But one of the the other like extra credit piece of the assignment was to pick out one thing you'd never seen before or tried before. Well, I didn't really do that because I've never seen these. Awesome. All right, let's all follow Leo's example. And uh, like, would you get like just to at least just take it up and show the group, maybe write in the chat box like what you got. I'm just curious to see what people have. And if something looks interesting, I'll just call on you to explain what it is. Ben, what do you have in your hand there? What do I got? I got some, uh, I think this is not really a special thing. This is just like the core piece, the, the moody fried oil fries. I got some vermicelli. So, so Mimi, my girlfriend did all the shopping. And actually, I don't think that I'm going to be able to complete the the like actual cooking today because apparently there was no there was no chutney in the store. What a chutney shortage! Yeah, right. I, I can't I can't imagine that there would be no chutney in the oh man in the store. But you know, I, w I wasn't there, so I can't say. DC um, is so broken. There's not even chutney. We got some roasted grams. Yum. Do you know? What, I don't know what that is. And we got some crispy fried onions. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, that sounds great. Yeah. And uh, some, some fried peas. All right. So you did well. You did pretty well for yourself. Um, anyone else uh, find something new that is kind of interesting to share with the group? I, 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 just, I, say, I just love these big yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. Zach, Zach, your parents have something to share. Oh, yeah. Mom and dad. What did you guys get? Well, we in the spirit of this, we had to stock up a week ago because we were leaving Philadelphia for um, the Eastern Shore of Maryland, where we knew we would not come upon any Indian food. So we do have this was a oh, shit. A, um, a, a Madras mix, Madras yes or yeah Madras mix, um, which is fun. But we did in the spirit. We were at a farmers market in uh, Berlin, Maryland. Uh, this morning, a town of 2,000. Um, that's more than that. And uh, we chatted up extensively the, the, the growers there, and they suggested um, a certain kind of potato, which we have cooked up. I know I have seen potatoes before. And I don't know what to do with this. This is a zucchini of a type I've never seen before. So I don't think we're going to use it tonight, but in the spirit, we tried. Awesome. Nice to get some new produce. Cool. Um, I also right, Jenna, have, yes, what did you get? All right, well, I have a tragic story because this was something that I'd never seen before and neither had my partner Chris and the, um, the lovely man at the store led us to this freezer area. So this is just dal puri, but it was supposed to be frozen. So this has been unfrozen for the last seven days because we were just taking it out of the bags now. I don't know if it's going to be edible, but it was a new discovery. Mm. Well, only one way to find out. Um, I know, right? Eat it and hope for the best. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be delicious. Um, cool. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing all that, everybody. Um, so now we're going to get to sort of the main event, which is actually making the bell puri. And actually, here I wanted to introduce uh, two of my friends Hi. over here. Hi. Sophie and Anjali are going to be making bell puri in my kitchen while I watch them and watch you all make bell puri. Um, I'm going to be uh, sending you all into breakout rooms, and it's just going to be random. So whoever you get put with, it'll be fun. Maybe you know them, maybe you won't, but hopefully a good chance to make a new friend. Um, I'm going to share my screen just so you have like the instructions of um, what to 
what to do uh, in this breakout, which is, um, yeah, so the first thing to do in your breakout is like, introduce yourselves, especially if you don't know the people. Um, then just as a quick like icebreaker, maybe go around the room and just share your favorite food memory uh, to get to know each other. And then make the bell puri. And once you do it, uh, take a picture of it because after this, I would love to see everyone's bell puri and we can make a little like bell puri collage. Um, we can see who does it and the different, you know, your aesthetic flavors will come out. Um, real quick, just as a quick reminder for folks who want like a refresher on the in in instructions, pretty simple. So here are the slides from last week. Remember the ingredients are just this basic set of puffed rice, the save, those vermicelli chickpea noodles. Um, oh, actually, let's, let's show, can we show some of these things? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. We can. Like, uh, yeah, let's demonstrate. We got the uh, uh, save here. Um, I should like stop sharing. So we got the save, I mean, sorry, the bell puri, the puffed rice. We got the, at least, what did we have? The just that. That doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah, we got chutney. Tamarind chutney. We got green chutney. And just chopped veggies. Yeah. yeah. Onions and tomatoes, some chilies. We've got a whole bunch of limes back there. Um, and we have green chilies too. Extra heat. And uh, I know some of you guys might have gone a little adventuresome. Evan said he was going to throw a cucumber in there. Some people are throwing potatoes, yeah. going wild. Yeah. It's all about you. It's your own creative uh, expression that's going to come out in your bell puri. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to hit the breakout room. I'm going to put you in there for 15 minutes, um, and then I'll like sort of come around and um, and say hi to everyone uh, to see how you're doing. Just Excuse me. Yes. What's up? Um, are you, are you going to share the recipe? Because I'm not totally sure how you're going to do that. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, I'm going to share it right now in the chat. So you all have it and. Um, That'll be a good place for it. Let me uh, let me just show it to you all one more time. You're always asking such good questions, Leo. Yeah. So the we we got those ingredients we just showed. The instructions are really just to mix them all together. There's no right order. You can just do it. You know, you mix all the dry stuff. You add in the veggies. You throw in your chutneys. You mix it, and then you take a picture. Uh, I'm gonna paste this oh, in the chat. Uh, anyone have any other questions about it? Yes. Yes. So we got tamarind paste. Okay. How do we how do we turn that into something that we can mix in? Oh man, that's a great complex question. What's Sophie, you want to take it? Yeah, what's the question? How do we take t turn tamarind paste into a chutney they can oh, use? Oh, so you have tamarind paste? Um, yes. I would put some water in it and then mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, chili just powder. yeah, any like chili powder, chaat masala, but keep it simple but dilute it. You know, it's like really strong. Yeah, you don't want to mix it. Yeah. Also, when you're mixing stuff, mix the dry stuff in the end because you don't want it to get soggy, you know? Mix okay. your, yeah. Mm. Mix, your, mix your veggies and chutneys first and then add the dry stuff. Just no advice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a crucial bit of advice right there. Yeah. And, and, oh, and I have an update. It's yeah. too late for me because I already put my dry ingredients together. <laughs> yeah, same. Crucial advice. There'll be another chance. What are you going to say, Angela? We're gonna make That's smaller right. batches, so I'll try. Once you got it all mixed up, get it in your mouth because that's when it tastes crunchy and um, all the flavors are in there. It doesn't really sit well. Yeah, totally. Good advice. Yes, yeah, like it'll be like soggy cereal. Um, cool. I have I have an update. Okay, what's your update? I found some chutney in my oh, in my fridge some? that I didn't know that I had. Oh, mashallah. And this is from the last time that Zach came to my house. He brought chutney because that's what Zach does. <laughs> Drinks chutney. So thank you, Zach. Can't live without that chutney. All right, great. Well, let's let's oh, see how it is. Another quick question. Yeah. I love pickle, and I got a lot of pickle because I like to have pickle around the house. Is this a pickle-friendly thing, or is that like not done? It's it's pickle friendly, but most people don't put pickle in the bell puri. Okay. So if I were you, I would just enjoy that separately. If you have some of those property, like the puri, you could just take that. Dip it right in. You know, you cool. Know. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Any other questions? If not, I'm going to send you all to your breakout rooms. All right. I think we're all set. So um, I wanted to ask everyone. Uh, what was it like making bell puri in your group? Um, anyone want to 
volunteer to share their experience. Okay, Leo's got your hand up. Let's hear from Leo. Uh, I, I really like making it. And uh, on my second one with this, the Dalhoun, it actually tasted a lot better because one thing made it a lot better, in my opinion. It was less spicy with this added. <laughs> but extra crunchy. Yeah. So that's our story. Yeah, and I actually stopped a bit early after only two because I got a bit full. Nice, Leo. Um, cool. Did anyone have any different experiences with the spice level? Milo and Anna, you want to you share your current spice status? Status? Um, yeah, we kind of uh, underestimated how spicy the chopped peppers would be and just like pre-mixed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, turned out a little bit spicier than we anticipated. But this is totally my jam. The flavors and texture were great, and I'm fixing myself a second serving. Right now. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, what was uh, uh <laughs> so, um, I, I'm I'm proud to report that Sophie and Anjali made an absolutely delicious bell pori for me while I was saying hi to everybody. Uh, what was your secret, Sophie Anjali? I think it was Anjali's fine shop. <laughs> 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 Kamala Harris, you know, in that Mindy Kaling video. Mm. I tried. Um, <laughs> so professional. I, I would say that actually what made it successful is that we tried it as we were going along and we adjusted mm -hmm. the spices because mm -hmm. it's kind of like an improvisation. So you first throw some stuff in, see if it's working for you. If it's not, you know, add more chutney, add more chopped masala, add some more lime juice. Yeah. Hi, Zareen. Hi, Zareen. <laughs> Um, cool. All right. And, uh, I was, it was, I think one of the things that was really beautiful for me as I was hopping in those breakout rooms was just like seeing people, well, some, a lot of you know each other, but a lot of you didn't know each other and just come together to have some street food. Pretty great. Um, all right. I wanted to ask one more big question for everybody. Um, that you sort of actually, so before you eat all the, all the bellpourri. Would you mind like showing your bellpourri to the camera so we can get like a global view of everyone's bellpourri? Oh, it looks like we got some empty plates too. That's cool. Uh, Another wrong with. I was gonna try to get like a little screenshot of the bellpourri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Uh, so good. So yeah, I wanted to ask. So like the, basically, if you think back on this last week. Um, I'm just curious to hear from folks, like what did this exercise open up for you? Like when you went to the grocery store, was it something new? Did you, like what sort of shifts in mindset did you have? Did anyone like think back, like before you went, were you like nervous or excited or, you know, what's, what's, what's shifted, what's come up for you? It's been a while since I've done something new during quarantine. So this was really nice. Nice. This is the first time you've done something new in a while? Not the first time, but like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Sorry, can you repeat the question, the prompt, the question? It was yeah. just like. I was just asking, like, what did this exercise open up for you? Like, in your mind, in your heart, in your taste buds? <laughs> the, smells, the smells are so new. Mm -hmm. My kitchen is not full of these smells typically, and it's so cool. Like, I feel like just like different scents can open up your mind or memories and all of that. Like, I feel like stepping into something like this is very mind opening. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. For me, it, um, it brought back memories of when we visited Zach when you were teaching there. So uh, I remember that I thought you were going to ask us to get that, uh, to have different kind of newspaper right? <laughs> So we were going to, you know, all put it together in our newspaper. And you did like to show this last week. Yeah, we should have had some newspaper to have it in. It's a good point. <laughs> for your next, for your next uh, cooking class. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, well, sure. uh, yeah, yeah, please. <clears throat> well, I have the benefit of being in New York City. So it's really, it was really not particularly difficult to find businesses and like markets to go visit but a secondary thing that I thought was just really fun 
was just imagining everybody else who was going to be coming tonight doing this also. So I was, you know, I went to actually several different stores and I was kind of like imagining what the random person, like, well, A, first I was imagining what my friends who I know, who I know who are here, what they were doing and where they were going. And are they buying the same brand of chutney or like, are they getting a different brand? Or like, what are they seeing where they go? And also just kind of like having that experience of uh, it being like, um, me knowing that a bunch of other people are going out of their way to kind of complete this task and contribute and uh, maybe be part of the activity. Yeah, that's really beautiful. I think, you know, a big piece of why I wanted to try this whole community kitchen thing was a lot of what you said there, Evan, I guess like the two ideas of like community and, and empathy and the idea that food can bring us together and it can also make us uh, have more connection to people we maybe didn't think we had a connection with. Um, like I have, I don't know, there's a couple of friends who, who aren't on right now, but were telling me like stories I shared in that email, like, you know, one friend had never been to an Indian grocery store. And then the shopkeeper became really close with her and told her how her, his, his wife makes ghee and gave her some homemade ghee. You know, it's just like nice little experiences like that. Um, and so I guess like a prompt I, I'd have for you all is like, what could you further do to take that idea of community and empathy and live that through your lives? Just something to, to meditate on um, as I prepare to project what our next steps are. So let me share my screen. And uh, yeah, so um, some, some final prompts for you. Um, one is just like to think, like what will you take from this experience? Um, oh, sorry, there's an engine going by. Um, thanks, Anjali. Um, so yeah, one is to think like, what will you take from this experience? And um, we can take a moment here if anyone wants to share. Uh, the next sex question I'd ask is like, as you think about community kitchen, this idea more broadly, I think I'm gonna try to organize, start organizing these maybe like once a month and get new folks, like maybe professional chefs or other home cooks or whoever to do them. Um, I would love to hear if you could even just write in the chat, just feel free, like any idea that you think, like, what, what would you like to see? You'd want to have us teach you how to make dumplings or you want to do uh, some other thing or whatever it is. I, I just love to hear your thoughts um, while this is still fresh in your minds. And I'd like also if you could think, you don't have to send it in the chat, but just write it down for yourself. Um, if you could think of two people that you think would enjoy doing something like this so this community might grow. Um, cause really I think what is important for me is this idea that we can all become a more loving, happy, empathetic society of, uh, food sharers together. Um, so hopefully you can think of that. Um, let me, uh, stop screen sharing so I can see if anyone has any thoughts in the, um, in the chat. Uh, let's see. Dumpling sounds fun and yummy. Nice. I guess the power of suggestion is strong. Um, any other ideas, anything people would like want to learn how to cook or think would be fun to cook together? Um, as scary as it is, because it would involve more, uh, than, than what we've done today, which for me, I'm already like, wow, I'm behind. Everybody's eating. Chris just noted, and we're, we're still working. Um, but like making something that has to, that could be done in the oven, like kind of expanding past my typical realm of cooking, which is like stove top basically. So like utilizing oven or other kitchen stuff could be kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oven stove top thing sounds great. Uh, a lot of you know I like to bake bread. We could do a bread baking thing. Sam's mom has taught how to, Sam's mom has done a bunch of challah baking Zoom sessions. Maybe we could try that. Yeah. Um, and, uh, let's see, Nava suggested more Indian food. Maybe Anjali's mom my could teach mom us to make parathas. Yeah, I've already recruited my mom. She loves this. She will teach us something. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I really, really love Anna and Milo's idea of this election season. I don't know. Anna, say more about that idea. That's pretty much the extent of it. I was saying that like this might just be election season talking, but obviously international foods, different cultures, super interesting. Maybe using, doing like a regional take on this, 
different regions in the US, the South, you know, different kind of using food as a way to bring people together across the country, have dialogues. Mm. Be kind of a cool idea. That is a cool idea. Yeah, I think, I mean, for me, like, I was really familiar with Bailpuri before this because I'm Indian and I've been to India a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. But I think there are other foods from other cultures that are so ubiquitous and common that I have no familiarity with at all. And so while Bailpuri was delicious, was delicious and um, it would be great to experience foods from other places that are like Bailpuri that are just such a staple of the culture and the, the people. Yeah, amen. Sounds great too. Yeah, like uh, Mimi suggested Ethiopian sambusas. Yeah. Mimi, are you, uh, are you volunteering to teach us how to make those? I'm not, not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got a sous chef here, so. Well, I, I think like along the lines of like sambusas and, and like the dumpling idea, it'd be good to, to like learn certain techniques. So like sambusas are, are pretty straightforward, but like the, the wrapping part of it, like how do you wrap a sambusa is I think what is difficult and, and worth learning. Um, Cause then you could like, or like a dumpling, like how do you like pinch and wrap a dumpling? And then you can like add whatever you want, which makes it sort of fun. So like, what are the traditional things that you would put in? And then like, you know, how you can get creative adding whatever you want, but after you learn how to actually make a dumpling or make a sambusa, like through the wrapping technique. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. It's an interesting thing how we'll, we'll learn how to do all this on Zoom. It's like much easier if someone's like, yeah. you can sure. like it now. but it'd be fun. Um, cool, I like all those ideas. Uh, I like what else is in the chat. I like pickling. That sounds like a great idea, Sam. And desserts. Mo, yeah. Okonomiyaki. Okay, cool. I'm Super curious. Cool to be able to invite anyone to this, though, even like to, to the counter, like the flip side of what you were just saying about like there's something lost over Zoom in terms of subtle techniques. It's really dope to be able to like see people all over the country or the world and like who are part of this broad social network that might keep growing. I, like would never happen if this were limited to like LA or New York or Philly or like one particular geography. So yeah. I'm like loving that twist to this. Yeah, I think that's really cool. I think it's even cool the idea that like you could like just organize. Yeah, I like the idea of people being able to organize these on their own now that we've like, done this once. Like, I don't know if you have like four friends, you like have an idea or something. It's like a good way to just sort of like pay the message forward. Um, cool. Well, I don't, I think that's sort of like all I've got for now. The, I don't, we don't have a, an immediate next one organized, but I'm gonna try to do this sort of once a month. So maybe it'll be Anjali's mom's paratas. Maybe it'll be, maybe Mimi, maybe you'll find us a, an Ethiopian expert chef who can teach us how to roll sambusas. That'd be great. Um, or uh, maybe we'll do Sam's mom's hollow. We'll try something in the next month. And uh, I think I'll just keep everyone posted we don't have like a great way of all staying connected other than like there's an email. I thought about like maybe having a WhatsApp group, but um, we can sort of like play that by ear. Um, I think I'll launch a, yeah? Yeah, Instagram. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna launch, I think I'll like set up maybe like an Instagram to have like some photos of this. I'm gonna like maybe like maybe put up a website. So I'll keep you all posted about that. Um, yeah, anyone have any, uh, any, any other words or thoughts to share before we all head out? Um, Zach, should we send you our photos that we took? Yeah, thank you. Yes, that would be awesome if you could send the photos. Like, um, yeah, I mean, that's the kind of thing that we can make like an Instagram or like a WhatsApp group fun if everyone just like, saw everyone's Bellpuri. I'll definitely make, if, please do send your photos to me and then I'll make a Bellpuri collage. It'll be- It'll be like a shared fun. photo album on Google Drive or something, Zach. Yeah. That's a good idea too. Um, yeah, feel free to send as many photos of me as you want. If you have like portrait mode onions, I'm, I'm happy to watch. <laughs> uh, yeah, or like slow-mo chutney drizzle. <laughs> um, cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being part of this first community kitchen.
Uh, I hope you all liked it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna send a little feedback form. Uh, I'd love it while it's like fresh in your mind if you'd share your thoughts about this, um, what you like, didn't like, suggestions for next time. And um, I think that's all. Um, maybe I'll just like hang on the Zoom for a couple more minutes just to say hi to anyone who wants to say hi. But that's sort of the end. So thank you. Hey, back. Awesome. Yay, go Zach. Great job, Zach. Hey, hey. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. I love Leo. Like with the Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi Leo. Uh, for some reason, it I accidentally uh, texted you. Oh it accidentally somehow it made it say Bell Two for you instead of Bell Three. It'll be double double the pory goodness. It'll be great. Double bell. <laughs> Yo.